Alright, welcome back to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are back and we are going to be taking inspiration from our track to mine. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, it has been very popular and you guys should definitely go check it out. Essentially, it is a small little tank with a cannon pointing upwards that destroys the enemies. What I want to do this time is actually do a manned version, kind of where we actually put a stick on the front of a tank with a big old shield and then the guys can sit behind that and essentially what happens there is um, we, we still shoot up from underneath their tank but the shield provides cover while we ram them. I don't know how to explain it. Let's just go ahead and build something and hopefully it'll work out. Also this tank that you're seeing right here is my one man tank which is actually kind of spacious but anyway you should check out that video too. Anyway let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out by doing a freeform hull. There we go. We're going to go ahead and make this really tiny. There we go. And there we go. That is pretty awesome. We're then going to go to fenders and get rid of those. That's pretty good. Go to tracks. I guess the separation could come like all the way in. Uh, the width of them is going to be tiny. And then everything else needs to be tiny too. So get rid of those. Get rid of those. Uh, probably get rid of the return rollers. And try and fit this so that it actually works. Alright, there we go. I think I want like three, probably like three wheels uh, again, but uh, a little bit smaller. So there we go. We'll go with something like this. That honestly looks pretty awesome. So we're going to go with track thickness, massive. Length of the tracks, probably quite, mm, that's comically, comically large. Let's go with 200. There we go. Um, and now we're going to go in and try and make this look pretty. So we're going to go with probably those guys. And that is it. Nice. All right, let's go to config. Uh, adjust them a little bit if we can. So bring them in. There we go. That honestly looks pretty good. And now figure out the rest of it as well. So the idler wheel, we're going to go ahead and make skinnier. There we go. I wish I could make the sprocket skinnier, but unfortunately, I can't. Never mind. Okay, so this is what we currently have. I'm actually in the mindset of bringing this forwards and having it a lot like this instead. Does look pretty weird, but I think we can get away with it. Okay, go to compartments, select all of this, bring it forward, yes. Uh, probably drop it down so it fits within this. Gonna drop this piece down as well, to about there, I suppose. And then we're gonna try and build a shield. <laughs> we're gonna try and build a shield onto the front of this. Don't ask why, I feel like it's just a cool idea. So, um, I've made it kinda wrong, let's do this. Extend it again, bring it outwards, and then we can do it on both sides, just like this. Okay, fan dabby dozy so far. Extend it again, bring it even further out, and do this. Okay, so far that looks extremely weird, but don't worry about it too much. Right, grab each of those and do this. There we go. Go to each of these, and we are going to extend this up further, and we're going to do this. Bosh. There we go, so that defends the tank. What we'll do from there is we'll go to each of these and we'll make it like 200 or whatever. Um, depending on the time frame, we're going to go for mid-war and it is going to be 200 armor. That seems insane, but that's what we're going to go with. From there, we need to actually extend this downwards slightly. So do this. We're going to extend this guy out towards the front like that. And that should allow us to actually poke underneath the enemy tanks. Whether this is going to work or not, I'm not sure. But this is what we currently have. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, so I've extended this guy upwards because I thought that might be quite nice. There we go. We're then going to extend these guys out over the edges like this. And that allows our tank to actually have some sort of, I don't know, nice shape, I suppose. And we're going to go with that. That looks absolutely insane. It looks very weird. But let's go ahead and try and merge that with there. There we go. And that is what our tank is going to look like. Kind of. We need to go to crew and we need to remove two of the people. One is going to be a driver commander. The other one is going to be a gunner loader. And that's it, I think. Okay, so let's just start putting things on this. So a commander's coupler, yes, we want one of those. We want it so we can actually see. Uh, and this is going to also be where the driver drives from. So if we go to viewports, we can just shove one of these guys directly onto there. And now we can actually drive this thing around. Okay, fantastic. Yes, that is exactly what you want. We're then going to go back to compartments. We're going to grab these guys and we're going to do this. I think that might look a little bit nicer. We're then going to go to liveries, of course. Give it a bit of a livery. Going to go with this. We're going to scale it up a lot. 
Gonna go to saturation. Yes. There we go. Brightness. All the way up. That looks insane, but sure. We're then gonna go to mobility. We're gonna go to engines. We're gonna grab these guys. We're gonna make them really, really skinny and small, and we're gonna put them on the side. I know that might seem a little bit weird, but don't worry about it too much. From there, I'm thinking we extend them, make them really long, so that they can cover the entire side. That looks really weird. Looks very weird. The exhaust then can actually be mounted to the top of this, which is gonna look like this. Because why the hell not? Alright, there we go. Put that on the top. Extend it back over itself. There we go. Alright, that looks like a little gremlin machine that will totally work. Oh, it doesn't turn very well. But what we can do, actually, is just separate the tracks out a little bit more. And then it'll be fine. Alright, there we go. Can we turn now? Yes, indeed we can. Lovely. Okay, so we obviously need a way to get in and out of this thing as well, so let's go to crew hatches, and we'll just add one of these guys, one of these bad boys, uh, to the back end like this, and that is your way in and out. Also, obviously this needs lights, because, you know, safety first and all that. Let's go to this guy as well, we'll add some lights on the front, so we can actually see forwards, and I think that's all I really want. I'd like to add these guys, but they're kind of small. They are kind of small, but I guess they work. Alright, cool. So, let's save this as Tracked Mine Brother. Tracked Mine Brother. There we go. So far, so good. The only thing we need to do now is get a turret that will actually fit on here. We're going to make this tiny. Uh, I don't know where the front of this is, so we need to figure that out next. It's this side. Oh, that works. Okay, that actually already works. Fantastic. Fan Dabby Dozy. So, we're going to select all of this. I'm gonna make it real small. I'm gonna make it real small that way. And real small this way if we can. Oh, I'm struggling a little bit. There we go. Nice. Bring this over this way. Put it directly in the middle right there. There we go. Select all of this and make it really thick. We're gonna go with 200 millimeters of armor on that. We then need a turret on there. Also, we need to stop it from moving. So, constraints. We're gonna go with zero and zero. So it can't move. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Things so far are working out. From there, we're going to go to gun sight. We're going to shove a gun sight on here, obviously. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we need a mantlet that will also go on there as well. Doesn't really matter which one it is. We're going to go with this guy for now. Make it really tiny and shove it right there. Okay. Next thing. We obviously want to get rid of this. Actually, we need a little bit of one. That's okay. Propellant length. We're going massive. Caliber, we're going to go with quite big. There we go. In fact, make this longer. Yes. We can then actually send it down. So we can recess it. Look at that. Interesting. That is our cannon. That looks ridiculous. But I love it. Alright, cool. So we need some rounds. Here we go. These rounds are huge. We don't need too many rounds. But I'm thinking like four will be good. There we go. And we're ready to go now. Yeah! Okay, right, we're not actually ready to go, because we need a big old beefy engine. So we're going to go with that, we're going to go with this, go. Heck yeah! Nice, I already love this machine. So if there's a King Tiger in front of us, we ride over to it, we get underneath it, and we go BAM! King Tiger down. Nice. Alright, here we go. We are on the railway map, and things are working out. We are driving very quickly. Look at us. We look so dumb. We look so, so dumb, but it's working. It is actually moving. The only thing I would say is that the stick on the front, if it touches the ground, will probably stop us, and if, if it does, it will probably damage us as well, but we'll see what happens. Also, the gun, or the cannon, is seemingly wanting to aim to the side as well, which doesn't seem like a good idea. I forgot to put the constraints on that. Uh-oh, one of our tracked mine brothers is dead. ruh -roh. Oh no, okay, right, I was thinking all of the King Tigers were actually on my left, but there does appear to be one right here. So we're gonna drive up to it. Oh, yeah, oh! No! He's taken out my... He took out my driver! Oh, and then blew me up! <gasps> Wait! So the stick itself doesn't actually have very much armor at all. And that is where that guy just shot me. And killed me. Yikes. Wait. King Tiger just killed King Tiger. 
Okay, lovely. They're shooting each other. <laughs> They're turning against each other. Nice. All right, let's get over here and target this guy. Luckily, right now, they're shooting... Oh, no. Oh, no, they've stopped shooting that guy because he's dead. Oh, they are ruining me! These King Tigers are doing damage! They're doing so much work! Holy heck! All right, come on. Oh, never mind. Okay, right, we need to sort out some of our flaws. Clearly, this thing has some flaws. Unbelievable. Right, did I even armor up the front? I did. 200 mil all the way around. I guess King Tigers aren't really mid-war. Maybe that's the issue we're having. That is probably the issue we're having, actually. Good point. Good point me. Alright, here we go. 200. Here we go. Uh, if they do shoot me... No, we are armored everywhere. We are very armored everywhere. It's just it, it didn't... Oh. It... Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Uh oh. Oh, and we need to do the thing that I forgot to do, which is put a constraint on this so it can't actually move. Otherwise, it will be like aiming from side to side, and any angle that it puts on itself is less angle to fire into the tank. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go again. Charge the enemy! Here we go again, let's get in there. Hopefully this time we will do the damage that we deserve to do. You know, we totally deserve to do loads of damage here. There's a guy already shooting at us from there. I'm assuming there's an- oh yeah, there's another one there. You can just see the puffs of smoke from their cannons. It is insane. Anyway, drive straight across this. Wonderful. Continue in. Yeah, we got this. I don't even know what you'd call this type, like, type of tank. I have no idea. It's like you drive over and you just- maybe a boomstick tank, I guess? Because as soon as it hits the target, you, you kind of explode them. I suppose that would be a good name for it. Oh, we're starting to get shot now. Oh, I didn't change the uh, the war period that we're on. Oh, this is an issue. I've got like three King Tigers. <gasps> I've been tracked. Okay, maybe that could be a distraction though. Charge! Oh, it's dead. Uh-oh. This thing isn't particularly small either. I did want to build it so that it looked like we could actually have people in it. But I've went way past the space constraints anyway, so it doesn't really work. Also, one King Tiger has just shot another King Tiger and killed it. So they're, uh, they're going against each other again, which is fantastic. Because we haven't currently actually made this machine work yet. But that one is definitely dead, so that's good. There's another one right there. I'm gonna try and go around the back side. And hopefully blow up the back one first, maybe. Although I don't see any back here, so there is one, two, three. Oh, one of them must be all the way back. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay, right, we're not gonna worry about him. We're gonna try and blow up this guy. They're gonna try and shoot me. But I'm gonna be quick. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes! Nice! All right. It's worked. It's worked. We're going to get in there with some more. While that one hopefully reloads. I don't know whether it'll have time, but we'll see. I've been tracked. Okay, we've got more. Get in there, guys. I wish these were actually radio operated. Because then it would actually sort of work. Kind of. Like throwaway machines. Although 250 mil of armor. Or 200 mil of armor quite a lot of work to go into one of these. It is a lot of, in fact, that's a lot of materials. But still, <laughs> it's fun. The other thing that I guess is worth mentioning is that the AI will have literally no idea what to do with this tank. Because they don't know that the barrel will shoot upwards, so they don't know that they have to position it that way in order to aim. But that guy's going backwards and forwards, don't know what's going on there. We've just tanked two shots, and we've been tracked. Okay, this guy has actually reloaded. We're going in. We're going in. That one's taking the hits. It is tanking like crazy. We now go. Yes! All right, go, 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 go! Yeah! Nice! So yeah, the concept is, is sort of working, but we are... When we get tracked, we're having issues. Also, this guy, you can see they've rammed the stick into a rock and that has broken it, unfortunately. But we do have more. We have eight remaining. Two of the, them are actually tracked. So that's not that good. But let's go over there and see if we can do enough damage. And then once we do that, we could go for the final one that's up on the hill and destroy him too. You know, we just need to kill the guy. Hello, I have come to annihilate you. Or at least I'm gonna try. So let's just, let's just poke our little thingamabobby underneath you. One second. And are you, have you got any last words? 
Any last words, King Tiger? I don't think so. Goodbye. Nice. The fact that I am that confident with this thing is ridiculous, but it totally works, which is awesome. Okay, so this last guy might actually be a bit of a challenge to get to. He's positioned himself in a nice defensive place against Tracked Mines or Tracked Mine Brothers. Uh, except he is ruining that a little bit by coming towards us. Alright, have you got anything else to say? Didn't think so. Nice! There we go. I love this thing. It's awesome. It is actually so, so cool. Um, it's stuck though. As soon as we actually get driven on by a King Tiger, we do get stuck. But you know what? Totally worked. Anyway, if you guys want to see more random things like this in the future, let me know in the comments down below and I can see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.